Okay, so in this particular chapter, we'll talk about identity of a proxy. So what identity of a proxy does is that it restricts your load balancer from being accessed by everyone. So only the users who have permission to the identity of a proxy can actually access your particular backend service. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create an HTTP load balancer and we'll also enable the certificate for a particular domain. So we'll have a domain called verylazycoders.in. And this particular very lazy codes.in will be connected to the IP address of this particular front end load balancer. And again, it has to be SSL enabled. So that is something that we had done in a previous chapter. So that particular video, I will send a link over here. So I will just briefly describe how this is done. And the first thing we'll do again is we'll create our load balancer. So let's go ahead and let's see how that is done. Okay, let's go to a load balancer and let's create a load balancer. Let's click on create load balance and I've already created one. I'll just give you the configuration that you need to set up. Let's click on start configuration. Now again, it has to be from the internet to the VM and let's click on classic load balancer. Now let's set up a backend service. Let's click on create a backend service and you need to mention the instance group and the backend service. So this is the backend service, which is basically a virtual machine, which is connected to a Apache web server. So again, the port number has to be 80. And let's give a health check. Click on create. So all these things we have done in our previous chapters. Now the link to that I'll give in the description below as well as over here. So let's give a name for our backend. So just, just call this as backend. Let's click on create. And let's go to the front end. Now here is basically what you need to do here. Instead of HTTP, it has to be an HTTPS. And once you get that, you can create a certificate for your HTTPS domain. So here you can give a certificate name and here you can use a Google managed certificate and you can just give a domain. So since this particular domain that I have is also connected to my organization, it does not ask for any verification. You can just directly give this. So let's just give the very lazy coders dot in. So this is again the domain for my organization. So it doesn't ask for any validation or verification. Let's so once you've done that, you can create a load balancer. So I had previously created a load balancer and it has this particular IP address. Now this particular IP address, I went to my particular domain for my very lazy coders dot in and I associated it with my particular DNS. So this is again the IP address of my load balancer. So after you've done that, you can just log into your very lazy coders dot in after some time and you will see that it's SSL enabled and you can see that it's serving the backend page. So that is how you create your SSL enabled URL. So again, after we've done this, let's now enable our identity aware proxy. Okay. So before we connect to our identity aware proxy, let's see how the flow looks like. So once you connect to the IP address of the load balancer, now it will go and connect to the identity of a proxy first and there it will be asked to sign in using the Google sign in account. So this is basically the sign in for a particular user who has access to the organization. And once he's being authenticated, he'd be authorized to check whether that particular user has access to your identity of a proxy. And once he does, it will go through a certain firewall. So there are, there is a firewall that also that we need to set and, and this particular firewall if set, will let the user go through the virtual machine or the backend service and connect to the virtual machine. So that is how the flow looks like. So let's go back to our load balancer. And what we need to do is we need to go to our identity aware proxy. So you can just search for identity aware proxy here. And here you need to go to your HTTP resources. And the first thing that you'll notice is that you have your backend service that is basically the HTTP load balancers backend service over here. So that is the first thing that you'll notice. And if you're logging in for the first time, you'll also notice that there is an error here. So what you need to do is you need to first enable the identity of a proxy that I have done. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to your error here and you need to do one extra thing. And that is to enable the firewall. So this is the IP address a range that you need to enable for your identity of a proxy to work. So let's do that. Let's click on this particular range. Let's copy this. And let's create a firewall rule with that particular range. Let's click on edit firewall. Now, if you've already done that, then that particular error will not come. So let's click on firewall rule here. And let's paste it at the source. And here you need to mention that the TCP is port 80. And let's mention all the 
resources in that particular network and let's just give it a name so let's just call this as identity aware proxy firewall so your identity aware proxy will go through this particular firewall and connect to the virtual machine so let's click on create so once you've done that the next thing that you can do is you can go refresh this and that particular error should disappear so let's go back to our configuration the next thing that you can do is you can just select this particular resource and you can add a principle so you can click on add principle and you can give a principle authorization to access that particular identity aware proxy so let's just give the principle so there is admin at very lazy coders dot game so you can just go to your role identity aware proc uh, cloud iap and just make this guy the iap secured web app user you can click on this and click on save so now you've given authorization as well so that's the only thing that you need to do once you've done that let's go back let's wait for some time and let's try to connect to that application once more so now if you try to connect to that application you will get a screen that looks like this so it will ask you to connect using a particular user so now what we'll do is we'll again click on use another account and we'll connect using the admin at very lazy coders dot so this guy was given access to that particular application let's click on next and let's give him give his password let's click on next again and you can see that i was able to connect to the back end so that is how you can use your identity of a proxy with your load balancer so i hope this was useful please like and subscribe my channel